Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Don't forget, the same thing next week. Whatever you do, bring along your aunt and we'll do a bit of bloody uh, bingo at half time. Thanks for coming out tonight, everybody. And remember what they said in them old days on the Celtic mountainsides. Wait till West Brom come to Molyneux. Thank you. Wait till Newcastle come to Molyneux. I can't, I can't see to get off the fucking stage. Either. Thank you very much. Thank you to Robert, Ella and the band. And uh, wish you farewell. Great to be here. Good night. Uh, the first lot of the night, Lucy. I'm going to swap places with you. <laughs> Lucy, yeah. tell they us if it, not you. Lucy, <laughs> tell us uh, 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 a few things about this, and then Mr. Robert Plant will uh, give us the details. Oh, sorry. Hello, hi, good evening, everybody. And um, it really is our honour to be here to raise money for such a great cause. Um, my name is Lucy. And um, we are really looking forward to making and raising lots of money this evening. So we're going to crack on with our first piece. And over to you, Robert Plant. I'd just like to mention, actually, something going on in the background here. We're actually going live to America now. Sounds uh, flash, doesn't it? Uh, but we are. We're joined by all the viewers of the Fine Art Auction in America right across the country. And uh, hopefully we're going to have some bids coming from them, some bids coming from you. And we're going to have uh, a little bit of an auction. Uh, Mr. Plant, would you uh, like to say a few words about this very special piece? This very special piece is actually, um, well, back in 1971, 72, uh, I was a member of a, a remarkable group, which was a reformation and a, a, a resuscitation of a, a British psychedelic pop group called the Yardbirds. And... Um, Times were desperate in 1968, and I was fished out of um, obscurity by the spectacular Jimmy Page, uh, who came to see me playing in a group in the middle of nowhere, doing very little at all about anything, and, uh, but trying to make a name. And I was brought forward and encouraged by the people that I worked with, the musicians, and uh, John Bonham and I came from the same area in England and we were very fortunate to team up with Jimmy and John Paul Jones and to write um, several different combinations of songs which were each to their own in, in, were incredibly different and uh, we were always trying to mix it up and we, we didn't like anybody else who played in the music business because we liked ourselves so much. So we kept writing more and more different music and deviating quite a lot. And we got to a point after what uh, Marcus Mumford said to me once uh, when they were writing their third album. I, I said, how are you getting on? He said, I'm in the middle of the difficult third album. It's, uh, so this record here, this disc, is actually the not very difficult fourth album. It was, we'd found our feet and we'd started writing with... Um, uh, some sort of combination of maturity and love of life and so Led Zeppelin the four symbols has become uh, quite a sort of special time for us as musicians and um, and for the song con content if you like beauty of the whole thing so I'm very pleased to say that I was given this um, award to commemorate the sale of 28 million copies of this record. Um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I was Tom McLean in, uh, in the black country. I was trained to be an accountant. And then all these years later, it keeps coming back and tapping me on, on the shoulder and reminding me just what a beautiful time it was and what, how prolific our playing and writing and uh, combination of spirit was all that time ago. So I'm very happy to put this forward in a way to help, um, if you like, bring uh, just my little contribution to this thing uh, tonight to you guys. So um, there it is. I've written some stuff on the back. 
Uh, I can't remember what it was, but it doesn't matter really, because whoever would like this, I'm very happy to write it on the front too. Um, but probably better that I give you my blood group and a couple of other pieces of information, because the, the signature will actually come off the glass. But I'm sure that the professor and I can uh, fix something up somehow, so we can put something magical up in the corner here by my wine glass. So there you go. That's the story of it, and um, and uh, <coughs> it has great significance to me because uh, it meant that I never had to go and do any more work on the blacktop or tarmac in West Bromwich High Street ever again. But uh, I love this music and I, I still love it now very much, although I get a bit coy and shy when I have to go near it because it's such a long time ago. So that's 50 years plus ago. So we've clocked up some numbers there. I can tell you some jokes now because I feel like I'm back in the working man's club. <laughs> but there we are. Uh, I can't be more... Um... Well, we appreciate it. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the auction. We're going to raise some money. Are we going to raise some money? Yeah, come on, let's go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by our viewers over in America. We do have a few bids that have come in. And uh, you might hear uh, someone shouting in the background... Those are bids literally coming in uh, from uh, our U.S. viewers as well. So, uh, great honor for us uh, all to be here, and thank you all for joining us. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this first slot then, I'd like to see an opening bid in England. I've, I've got one already from America, but let's see if England can beat America tonight. Unfortunately, we didn't beat South Africa by one point. Uh, but anyway, we're going to beat America tonight. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Good luck, America, as well. But, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're uh, underway. Who's got £50,000 to open the bidding on this one? Come on, give me an opening bid. 50? 50, £50,000 is bid. 50.